Hello, random ladies and gents. Hope you're all doing well. So, for dinosaur collectors like myself, it is a wonderful time of year. For you see, it is around this time that toy companies start revealing their toys for the following year. Yes. Recently, one of the bigger toy companies called Safari LTD, or Safari Limited, whichever, has started dropping hints for their 2021 toy line via silhouettes for their upcoming figures, as well as some very vague descriptions. I absolutely love Safari. I've been collecting their figures ever since I was... Hmm... Let's see... An absolute fetus. And I've always looked forward to the new releases every year. So today, we'll be taking a look and providing an added hint of speculation on what these figures are. And then I'll share my predictions for the other figures that might be revealed. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if only these three are all we get for 2021. Thanks to tariffs, the C-virus, presidential shit, you know, everything in 2020. The point is, expect this 2020 to take its firmly grasped hold on the release of these toys. Do it. That said, let's dive right into it. So starting off with the teased figures, we got three silhouettes of some mystery theropods. Well, two mystery theropods. Just to clear the air, it's Spinosaurus. We all know it's Spinosaurus. Unless they pull Exalia out their ass, then this is gonna be awkward. The other two are a different story. Looking at the silhouettes, we can get a vague idea on who and what these guys are. But when we look at the descriptions, we get a much better idea on what these might be. Starting off with the first one, its description reads, This dinosaur had proportionally longer arms than its larger, more famous cousin. Now, based on the description, that implies that this is a Tyrannosaur of some kind. Thankfully, not another damn T-Rex! Seriously, Safari has done several T-Rexes over the years that are still selling at the same time, while other dinosaurs have received remakes and retirements on a more balanced scale where it seems refreshing. I mean, I get it, Tyrannosaurus is popular and you know, you need to boost your sales. But, come on. That's a lot of Rexes selling at the same time at the moment. Like, no other dinosaur has more than two figures of themselves while Tyrannosaurus gets six. Thankfully, and I can't stress how thankful I am that we're not only getting a new large theropod, but a new Tyrannosaur. We've only had three other non-T-Rex Tyrannosaurs made by Safari so far, so this edition coming to 2021 is a very welcome surprise. Question is, which one? Based on the description's focus on the arm length and the shape of the silhouette, it's probably Despletosaurus. Since it not only had proportionally longer arms than Tyrannosaurus Rex, but has the proportionally longest arms of any Tyrannosaur. As I said before, this is a very welcome surprise, not only because it's a large theropod, but because Despletosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs ever since I was a kid, thanks to Dinosaur Planet, and it's one of the best studied large theropods to date. Yet, it's been really lacking in the toy scene, with the only two, at least that I know of, being a collect -A model and a minifigure from the Dinosaur King toy line, which I have by the way. So to see a new one coming, especially one made by Safari, has thoroughly <laughs> rustled my jimmies. Then again, the description is very vague, so it could easily be other Tyrannosaurs like Albertosaurus and Gorgosaurus, both of which have proportionally longer arms than T-Rex, along with sharing their own little corner of fame, and on top of that, having their own models made by Safari before but the emphasis on arm length has me leaning towards Despletosaurus. Das or not, I'll be happy with whatever it is, as long as it's not another Rex. Moving on to the next figure, this second one is a bit more obvious. According to the description, this dinosaur had a long snout full of sharp teeth. That's literally every carnivorous theropod, could you not be more vague? In all seriousness, it's probably Baryonyx. 
the silhouettes match up perfectly. The shape, the snout, and on top of that, it was part of the Carnegie line. And it's gotten more attention thanks to the Jurassic World films. And it was famous already, at least in a cult following sort of way. So it's probably Baryonyx. Although I wouldn't be surprised if it was something else like Irritator or another Tsukamimus remake. But Baryonyx seems the most likely for many reasons, mainly its popularity and its potential as a remake from the Carnegie line. Now, moving on to hopes and dreams for other potentially yet to be revealed figures. Usually, Safari has at least 6 figures in their prehistoric line each year, 10 at most, so to play it evenly, here are my top 5 that I hope we get for 2021, or what I think will likely get a figure for 2021, if everything goes smoothly. Many of these choices will be based on their ongoing trends such as popular dinosaurs, new discoveries, non-dinosaurian animals, remakes of previous toys, etc. As well as hopes of what I would like to see at least some point down the road. So, without further ado, here are my top 5 predictions, hopes, and dreams for the Safari Prehistoric Life toy line. Number 5 The Colombian Mammoth The Colombian Mammoth is something I've wanted to see for a long time in this toy line. It's big, it's got beautiful tusks, and it's one of the most interesting Ice Age animals. Albit spending most of its time in the shadow of its relatives like the Woolly Mammoth and Step Mammoth. I not only want this figure because it's one of my favorite prehistoric mammals, but because it's so lacking in the toy scene. Mainly, it's the woolly mammoth that gets all the love because, well, it's the mammoth. That said, Safari did do a mastodon, well, not technically an elephant or even a mammoth. It's a proboscidean, and it's raised my hopes that they'll start venturing into other Ice Age animals like the Colombian mammoth. Especially since Safari has been doing at least one prehistoric mammal or general non-dinosaur, which has been a trend in the toy line for recently anyway. I remember when a leak was revealed for a figure that was hyped to be a Safari Colombian Mammoth back in 2018, but then I found out it was a step mammoth from another company called Eofauna. But I have my hopes that the Colombian Mammoth might get some love in this upcoming line of figures, or sometime in the near future based on their recent track record. Or at the very least, the step mammoth. But I also have my doubts that we will see it because Safari just might view this as a giant Asian elephant like most reconstructions like to depict Colombian mammoths and might go for something more interesting, like a Dinotherium maybe. Nevertheless, a man can dream of his mammoths. Number 4 Platyosaurus. Now, I've seen this sauropodomorph's name floating around as a potential figure coming out for 2021 by many people. So I wouldn't be surprised if Platyosaurus appears this time in 2021 after people are calling for it in this 2020 predictions. Not to mention, Platyosaurus is a pretty noteworthy dinosaur. It's the most famous of the early sauropodomorphs, and it's fairly interesting because it, like other sauropodomorphs, represent early dinosaurs particularly early sauropod-like dinosaurs, and represents that transition from early Triassic dinosaurs to the Jurassic giants we know and love. Not to mention it's pretty popular as a dinosaur itself. From toys, to television, to stage roles based on television, look the point is this guy is pretty famous. Speaking of toys, this guy was also part of the Safari Carnegie line, so a chance at a remake raises the possibility. However, Platyosaurus isn't higher because there are a lot of more likely choices in the mix, including other remakes like Dinosuchus or Cryolophosaurus, which are also up in the air. But Platyosaurus is my personal pick because it's always good to see this ancient lad make an appearance, and I absolutely love this prosauropod. Wait, I mean sauropod more? <laughs> Number 3 
Chasmosaurus. Chasmosaurus takes the number 3 spot on our list for the yearly Ceratopsian. It's been a trend for Safari these past few years for them to do a Ceratopsian every year, with the exception of 2020. That said, I would love to see them do Chasmosaurus for their yearly Ceratopsian dinosaur. This absolute whole head is a classic, appearing in all sorts of media over the years, from Dinotopia to Planet Dinosaur, and by far one of the most famous ceratopsids known. While being the namesake for the subfamily, Chasmosaurinae, which also contains its more famous relative, Triceratops. Needless to say, the chance for a Chasmosaurus being made for Safari is high. That said, it also has some other famous contenders that could easily take the spot for yearly Ceratopsid, like Cynoceratops for its increasing popularity thanks to the Jurassic World films giving the genus a lot of attention, or Taurosaurus, which would not only fill in the yearly Ceratopsian role, but would also fill in the yearly Hell Creek model, which has been a trend with Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, Ankylosaurus, Pachycephalosaurus, and arguably Quetzalcoatlus and Edmontosaurus. Not to mention Taurosaurus is pretty much famous itself thanks to its appearances in Walking with Dinosaurs, Dinosaur King, and of course, how could anyone familiar with dinosaurs could forget that damned growth stage theory with Triceratops. I will never forgive Horner for giving clickbait so much clout and making the average person think that Triceratops didn't exist and that it was Taurosaurus the whole time, even though that's been disproved for years for fuck's sakes! Nevertheless, despite the odds against it, Chasmosaurus has a fairly good chance of appearing if not this year, then sometime down the line. Chasmosaurus getting a safari figure isn't just a possibility, it's an inevitability. And I'll be looking forward to when it finally does. Number 2, Brontosaurus. Ring the thunder for number 2 is the one, the only, Brontosaurus. Um, but Omega, don't you mean a Patasaurus? No, you pleb, I mean the thunder lizard itself, Brontosaurus excelsus. The most famous sauropod ever. Honestly, there's not much I can say that can truly encapsulate the hype that is Brontosaurus. I mean, come on! It's Brontosaurus, the thunder lizard. It's not just a sauropod, it's THE sauropod. When anyone, anywhere, sees a long-necked dinosaur, the first thing that pops in their head is Brontosaurus. And thanks to a study in the mid-2010s, it's valid again. Wait, it's all Brontosaurus? Always has been. Naturally, with its thunderous return came thunderous applause and the growing demand for Brontosaurus toys and toy companies. Collecte was the first toy company since its revival to make a figure of Brontosaurus. And of course, over the coming years, more official Brontos were made by the varying companies, be they models or action figures. Usually Safari takes a couple years to plan their stuff out to release, and I know they were chewing at the bit to make this absolute unit of a sauropod. After all, Safari does love its celebrities. I mean, it's Brontosaurus, what other reason could there be not to make this figure? It's big, it's famous, it's an all-around dinosaurian classic. And I honestly would love to see this magnificent sauropod get the safari treatment. And if there is any, and I mean any, creature who is guaranteed to get a figure in the near future, it's Brontosaurus. Before we get to number one, I want to quickly discuss some honorable mentions. So, let's get ready for the lightning round! Click! Play Despacito. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready. Start. Cytania is beautiful. Asian Ankylosaur, dazzling set of armor, made famous from Dinosaur King, the OG Bumpy. Zool, recent discovery, Jurassic Park Yankee but real. Highly discussed as a choice. 
Zephactinus, Late Cretaceous fish, common predator in the western interior seaway, relatively famous, icon of Hell's Aquarium. <coughs> Protoceratops, potential for yearly ceratopsian, almost as famous as Triceratops, bane of Velociraptor's existence. <coughs> Dinosuchus, prehistoric crocodile, big boy, Carnegie remake, Gustave incarnate. <coughs> Pinecosaurus, Asian ankylosaur, again, Better studied, but not as famous, real life Angiris. <laughs> Arsenoetherium, Smilodon Cub, and Dodo Bird. Absolute re release. <laughs> Bacillosaurus, ancient whale, apex predator, name means king lizard, wasn't walking with beasts. <laughs> Placerius, non dinosaur, Triassic proto mammal, has tusks, wasn't walking with dinosaurs, and dino riders for some reason. Name literally means dummy thick. DAMN BOY HE THICK BOY Desmatosuchus, early armored archosaur, spiky boy, non-dinosaur. Mirotherium, early elephant relative, chubby boy. Lambiosaurus, honky boy. Utah raptor, biggest raptor found so far. More famous than Deinonychus, not as popular as Velociraptor. Safari remake, highly requested and highly discussed. Adaphosaurus. You thought it was Dimetrodon, but it was I! D! Campasaurus. Morrison into the pod. Allosaurus food. Adds to the Morrison trend. <coughs> Dryosaurus. Another Morrison into the pod. Adorable. <coughs> Diectodon. Even more adorable. <coughs> Dranaxodon. He's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! <coughs> Stiggy Moloch. Unique and spiky. Recently in Fallen Kingdom. From Hell Creek and probably distinct from Pachycephalosaurus wyomingensis, and not a fucking growth stage. And finally, Gallimimus, a Mongolian ornithomimosaur or ostrich dinosaur, made famous by Jurassic Park. Unique choice. Let me finish my Jurassic Park species collection, please, Safari. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And now, the top spot goes to... Pelta. This absolute bean has been long overdue. Boreala Pelta is a very special notosaur from early Cretaceous Canada. Why is it special you may ask? Because it is one of, if not the best preserved dinosaurs that we've discovered so far. It preserved not only armor and skeletal structures, but the remains of keratin sheaths on the spikes, skin, and even its last meal within its stomach contents. What's more, the preservation of the armor and skin preserved melanosomes, revealing the colors of this animal it had in life, which would have been a reddish or reddish brown. That's right, we don't just have to speculate on what this animal looked like. We know what it looked like. Sort of. Or at least have a very good idea. I could see this figure coming in 2021 for not only being such a well-known dinosaur, but it hits so many check marks to get a figure. It's a fairly recent discovery, described in 2017, very notable, well studied, unique, highly discussed, a known appearance, and an added vibrant color that was the icing on the cake. What more could you ask for in reconstructing a dinosaur? As a result of being so well preserved and sheer hype around the fact that its remains are spinning image of the animal in real life, Boreal Apelta has had a large amount of attention, although due to it being relatively recent, it hasn't been getting many toys. We've only gotten one figure of this magnificent notosaur as far as I know, again with Collecta being the first to the finish line. And I would love to see Safari's take on Boreala Pelta, not only because Safari's top tier quality, but also because this dinosaur deserves all the love and attention it can receive for it being such an extraordinary and important discovery in paleontology. Also, it's absolutely adorable. I mean, look at this thing. Boreala Pelta is a truly special dinosaur, with its sheer importance alone being enough to warrant a place in Safari's toy line, along with its exhilarating array of armor and spikes matched with its reddish colors that truly made it striking in life. And that's exactly why Boreala Pelta is easily one of, if not the most likely picks for Safari Limited 2021. After all, it's not every day you can breathe life back into a dinosaur.